Hi, this is Dr. Gordo and welcome to The Raven and the Writing Desk. Today I'm talking about my favorite mark of punctuation, the exclamation mark. The exclamation mark is used to add emphasis to a statement, such as taxation is theft. Note that the exclamation mark makes the written word sound like excited shouting. So the main takeaway here is use the exclamation mark when you want to sound excited and in the appropriate time to sound excited. For example, when it comes to informal writing, you can use the exclamation mark as much as you want. So such as, I won the lottery. Notice it's not, I won the lottery, period. It's, I won the lottery. The, uh, the, the exclamation mark there at the end reverberates meaning back through the whole sentence, and the whole sentence is said lively. You can also combine the exclamation mark with a question mark to create emphasis on a question. It's like, you won the lottery? So you can still hear that raise at the end with the question mark, but still the excitement coming through. So in informal writing, yes, you technically could use the exclamation mark at the end of every sentence, but you're probably going to exhaust your reader because you'll be needing to get a breath after every time you use the exclamation mark, which is why you need to be aware of when not to use the exclamation mark. You don't use the exclamation mark when no emphasis is needed or uh, requested. So if I'm writing an essay, so I'm talking about formal writing here, and I'm, I'm talking about Peterson, I say, Peterson's assessment is correct, period. That sound, that's a normal tone for an essay. But if I was to drop, Peterson's assessment is correct, well, maybe it would all depend on what I'm talking about. But the safest rule is do not use the exclamation mark in a formal essay, and you'll avoid a lot of problems. When you get really confident with it, then you can revisit the issue. And likewise, in a business email, in a professional setting, I find the exclamation mark can be good in an opening statement, something that deserves to have a little bit of excitement, again, to add some personality to the email. I hope this email finds you well. We are all feeling great with this beautiful weather. And then from there, you get into the body of the email and the statements are probably more serious, uh, not requiring a exclamation mark. So it's not that in professional emails or in essays, you never use the exclamation mark. It's just that it's mainly reserved for informal writing. So there you have it. The exclamation mark has personality. You use it to add emphasis. So in your informal writing, have lots of fun with it. And when it comes to more formal writing, be careful. And that wraps up this video. Up next, you might want to check out the ampersand video or the one on the question mark. And of course, like, subscribe, and put your questions down in the comments. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Bye.